Hello everybody, a Wilder Ireland here. Um, I wasn't planning to do um, anything for a while until I got out into the woods, but I suppose I better do a bit of an update, a public service type deal about this uh, trichonomous um, situation I have. I did a video here a couple of days ago and I said I'd seen a green finch. I was a little worried that it, m it might look like it might have um, been infected, but I wasn't sure. And that evening, um, I just I just saw a finch in the corner here in, in the little yard, and uh, and I went around and oh, he was in an awful state. Def definitely trichomomus. Um, you know all the symptoms: the puffed out, um, the beak. You know bits of food on the beak. I could even hear hear kind of breathing issues. You know. So, um, and of course, when I, when I went up to it, the, the, it didn't even move. So, and that was in the evening around, I don't know, seven or eight or something like that. So, um, so I had to, I just had to, um, you know, deal, deal with the situation. I, I couldn't leave it, you know, there for, uh, I sincerely doubt it would have lasted more than an hour or two, but you know, it could have gone on through the night and I would just find it dead in the morning like I did with the chaffinch. So, so I had to take matters into my own hands. Um, and the truth is, even if there was somewhere I could have brought it, it wouldn't have been till the next day and they would have just been uh, gassing it, I'd say, you know. And I'm not going to tell you what I did, but it, it was, it was um, a lot less stressful and uh, instantaneous. Um, and I'm not saying you should do that yourself, you know, if, you know, but but um, I just didn't want didn't want the, that bird to suffer anymore, which which it definitely would have. It, it couldn't even flap its wings or, or walk or anything. It was just in the corner. Um, and then today I found another green finch dead. Um, so I've decided to shut down shop completely. I'm I'm not going to um, feed them anymore. I might revisit it in the winter, but you know, as I said, or as I put on some post on Facebook, you know, that, or I think I said in the video, there's different views on whether you should feed birds at all, feed them all year, only feed them in the winter. But um, they definitely don't need to be need absolutely need to be fed at the moment. In my in my opinion, not that I'm ex an experienced person when it comes to feeding birds. But now they could have got that. They could have picked it up at my feeders. They could have picked it up at somebody else's feeders. They could have picked it up just anywhere. But it doesn't matter where they picked it up. I can't keep feeding them because they gather here in numbers and it's just going to it's just going to pass on. Uh, so definitely I would be doing more harm than good. So I'm just done with it now. And as I said, I, I had an issue before, just after I started feeding with a chaffinch, and I stopped for two weeks. So the, the, the general advice, there's loads of info online from people more experienced than me, but the general advice is if you get an outbreak to um, clean everywhere and stop feeding for two to three weeks, depending on where, where you read. I would obviously go for three to be on the safe side. Um, but I, I'm just done with it. You see... I, Another issue is I have so many birds. Sometimes maybe if you're too too if you're too successful at attracting them in, you know I I just think it'll be different if there was just the odd bird coming in maybe. But for people, you know, I, I mentioned in a post on online, you know, it's easy for me to to stop. Well, it is and it isn't. Like I I I'll, I'll miss it, but um, I'm close to the countryside. I can get out. But you know, if somebody was stuck in an apartment or stuck in a house. And it was their only little bit of entertainment or contact with nature, you know, maybe it would be different. I don't know. I think if I was in that situation, I would probably would just wait three weeks and maybe just put one feeder up. I'm not sure. Other people might have better, better advice. But um, I'm done with it anyway. I just, I just, I just can't, um, you know, that's two green finches, you know, um, gone. And I don't know how many more might be infected. So everything is gone. I've all the feeders gone. I've taken down the water bottle and um, that's it. But there's a lot of people having issues with it. I, I, I've seen on Facebook on some of the, um, you know, the wildlife or whatever nature uh, pages. Um, so, yeah. 
anyway that, that that that's it for me on it um uh and there's loads of advice online for anyone who who wants to look out for it i probably should have videoed the bird but you know maybe that would just be too upsetting for people but um loads of advice online just go to reputable websites um it'll tell you you know how to look out for it how to try and prevent it which i did you know disinfecting the feeders cleaning you know underneath the feeders if you've room moving feeders around don't leave them in the one spot um but as i said you can't disinfect every inch of ground and of course if they, if they catch it somewhere else and come in you know you're just it's the usual you're just trying to uh reduce reduce the chances of, of, of it breaking out and it's really only with finches. So if you're not if you're not getting green finches and gold finches and chaff finches and um, uh, whatever finches, <laughs> um, it's probably not a concern. But you should still you know practice uh, you know cleaning your feeders and everything. And, you know, there's other diseases they can get. They can get salmonella. But uh, but that's it. Um, so on on the other news is um, I've installed my uh, water feature. And uh, I should have filmed this earlier because it, it, it's it, that the light is fading now and it's not it's not working on, on nearly like it was earlier. And I've also found out if, if you are ever thinking of getting one of these, you can get for slightly more money, you can get one with a battery, which would hopefully go a lot longer. You know, this one will only go when, when there's strong sunlight. Um, so, yeah, but I'm going to show you my, my water feature quickly because um, I'm, I'm going to be entering it maybe into Bloom and Chelsea. So here it is. I don't know now with the light. It's completely gone now because I'm standing in front of it. This is called the um, the bucket. I'll just put it in a bucket. Um, water installation. But um, I may put it in the bird bath when I get the bird bath. You know, put it out again in a few weeks. That's the only thing I, I might put back. But. Uh, but I read on, on the bird bats, they're a bit shallow and it doesn't really work. I think the best thing, idea I read is to get something like a big planter. And uh, you might need to seal the bottom. I don't know if planters have drainage. They probably do. And you could just put it in a big deep planter, wide planter. And with um, you could put stones or whatever in, you know. You could have a nice little water feature. But honestly, um, it does go, like this was going way out over the bucket earlier. Um, I'm going to leave it like that without the sprinkler. There's about four or five different sprinklers, uh, sprinklers that come with it, sprinkler heads. I'll put one on just now, but it's probably a bit pointless because it's not uh, cooperating. I'll just let you look at uh, the chair here for a minute. Okay, that footage was probably almost as good. Here it is trying to work with the sprinkler effect. It's very hard to see between the sunlight and that. Uh, and you see, this is what happens as well. The wind will blow it out. So if you have it in a shallow bird bath, it may empty fairly quickly. So, yeah, I'm sorry about this. This, this isn't really showing it. But, but honestly, um, they do work quite well. Like, obviously, they're not going to be major. Uh, they do work, like, work quite well when there's um, decent sunlight. And also, uh, as I said, there's, there's an option with batteries which will hold the charge more like uh, the lights you put in your garden. But if you're using it as a major oxygenator in, in a fish pond or whatever, it, you know, it's more a cosmetic type thing. It's not really going to make much of a difference. It would make a slight difference, not now, but when it's on, uh, on full power. But that's it. I'm going to, I'm going to shoot off. Listen, um, yeah, so just be wary um, if, you're if you're feeding birds. Be wary of uh, the trichonomus. Um, and as I said, if you get an outbreak, just uh, stop everything for, I would say, three weeks to be on the safe side and clean everything. But I'm just going to shut up shop. I, I think there's too many birds were coming in here. The poor things now, they must be wondering where, where's all the food gone. Anyway, that's it. Listen, th thanks. Uh, I've had a few more subscribers, so I, I really appreciate that. Um, and my next video will be from outside in the, in the countryside. Um, yeah, so if you like the channel, subscribe or, or share it, um, but if not, uh, I can understand why you mightn't. Anyway, uh, talk to you soon.
Take it easy. Adios.